Hey guys, it's me Charlotte, and I just wanted to share with you a quick story about how Rhett and Link, the famous YouTubers that I adore, called me. So pretty much about a month ago, during English class actually, I got a phone call from an out-of-state number. So once I went outside the classroom, I picked it up and they asked me if I was Charlotte. And of course I said, yeah, I'm Charlotte. Then they asked me a series of questions that led up to what they were trying to say in the end. So the first question was if I knew my friend whose name was Zoe. Now Zoe and I have known each other for about five years, we're very close, and still are after this incident, so no need to worry, everything is okay between us. I mean our trust is a bit shaky still, but everything else is okay. So back to the story. They started to ask me about trust in my relationship with Zoe, and really, trust is pretty high in any friendship, family, friendship, I already said that, <laughs> relationship, anything. Trust is really important, and it's pretty much the foundation of anything, I think. But, you know, it's kind of shaken after this. but. Then they asked me about my phone that went missing about a year ago. It was a really cruddy little LG Verizon wireless phone that took 20 minutes to receive a text, 5 minutes to send a text. You could take really cruddy pictures on it if you wanted. You could take really cruddy 10 second videos on it if you wanted. You can make 5 minute calls at the max. It was a really bad phone, but you know, it was a phone, so I like to have it in phone, but you know got this now, so I'm okay. But anyway, back to the point. They told, they knew about my phone being missing, which was a bit weird, I thought, because I didn't know how it connected to Zoe at all. I mean, I told Zoe about it, but I don't, I didn't know how it connected. So the next question they asked is if I had found $50 in my room. Now, I thought it was allowance, because the way that allowance works in my family is that once you do your chore, you receive your allowance while doing it. So say my chore of the month or of the week or whatever time span it is going to be. Say it was cleaning my room. I would clean my room, you know, tidy it all up, and I'd find it while cleaning it because it would be like hidden somewhere, like maybe underneath my desk, maybe underneath my bed, in a book, you know, somewhere that I wouldn't expect it. So my chores would actually get done. So they asked me that and I explained to them the whole chore situation and how I thought it was that, but I was wrong. It actually wasn't chore money. It was actually forgiveness money, pretty much. Then they told me the whole story from Zoe's point of view. Zoe took my phone, pretty much, sold it, bought a video game with it for $50, and felt so guilty that she hid the $50 in my room for me to find to like make up for it. But the guilt kept on her, so she asked Rhett and Link to call me and pretty much tell me the whole story of what happened. Now, after the call, I did not believe it at all. I thought it was some kind of sick joke. So after school, I called her up and asked her if it was true. Sadly, it was true. And I'll tell you right now that I didn't talk to her for quite a while after that because I was kind of mad at her, but I forgave her after a while because what kind of friend would I be if I didn't forgive somebody that tried to at least make amends? So she and I are still close friends, and if you actually go to the comment section of the video that they put the call in, you can see that she and I were communicating through it and just having a good time. So she and I are so close and I'm very happy about that. So that's pretty much the story. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you've been called by them, why don't you leave me your story? Well, bye guys.